Johnny Depp packed up and moved to London, looking for some peace away from all the Hollywood noise. Over there, he's not just chilling, he's also kicking off a cool new project, a special kind of Caribbean rum. Curious about where he's living in such an old city? His place in London is a total reflection of his unique style, mixing classy vibes with a bit of mystery. Come along as we dive into Johnny Depp's latest adventures, from his fresh business moves to his hidden spot in London, is staying busy and feeling better after getting through a rough patch in his life. The actor, who's hitting 61 in June, is bringing his French flick Jean du Barry to American screens on May 3rd, following its premiere at the 2023 Cannes Film Festival. Someone told People magazine that Depp is really pumped for more folks to check out the movie, which features Mai Wen, who also directed. He did the whole film in French. It was a cool challenge, the source said. Last time, he directed and starred in the 1997 film The Brave, alongside Marlon Brando. That pet project is one of the things that's keeping Depp feeling great these days, along with his music, painting, and other creative stuff, not to mention his own upcoming rum brand. Later, I'll dive into Johnny's upcoming rum brand. He's really focusing on his health and well-being nowadays says the source. Folks were digging his style at the Jean du Barry premiere in the UK. He got a fresh haircut, looked sharp and tidy. He shed some pounds and is feeling and looking better. He's making the most of feeling better, the source adds. There's a lot of positive vibes, and he's got a good crew around him. It's been almost two years since Depp was caught up in a fiery legal fight with his ex-wife Amber Heard in Virginia. The jury mostly ruled in his favor, and they eventually settled with Heard paying him $1 million. Depp split that money among five charities, and according to the source, all legal matters are settled. Nothing's left hanging. Heard, 38, currently resides in Madrid, Spain, with her three-year-old daughter. In London, Depp has settled into a comfy living situation. According to the source, he really feels at home in London. It's a quieter life, but he's busy with painting and music. He's jamming with friends and playing solo when he's not wrapped up in filmmaking. And he's all about moving forward, adds the source. He's staying occupied. There are plenty of positive things going on, so there's not much time to dwell on the past. It's like shedding the old and diving into this fresh start. He's feeling good about where he's at in life explains the source. There's no hard feelings towards anyone. The Pirates of the Caribbean actor isn't looking for love right now. He's just too swamped with everything, says the source, while he dives into his creative projects. And he's keeping his options open for whatever comes next. He's up for whatever. It's like a never-say-never never kind of thing. No doors are closed, says the source. If there's a role that really lights his fire, you can bet he'll check it out. Hold on, what's the deal with Johnny's rum? He's known for his love of booze. Now Johnny Depp is set to roll out his own brand of Caribbean rum, a move that could make him a pretty penny. Depp, 60, is in the final stretch of creating a dark rum. This isn't just some endorsement. He's the owner of the company, which he started up with a buddy he's known for 30 years. And the brand is gonna be all about his personal style, from the flavor to the look. They haven't said when it's coming out yet, but if Depp puts out his own rum, his huge fan following would gobble it up fast. And hey, a big pile of cash could be just the ticket for him right now. Depp spilled in court back in 2020 that he lost his massive $650 million fortune, supposedly, because he was bad with money and went crazy spending it. In an interview, he got pretty ticked off about folks saying he was dropping $30,000 a month on wine, saying it was way more than that. Lately, he's been stirring up trouble because of his ties to the Saudi regime, which chipped in to bankroll two of his flicks. Now he's got the opportunity to turn things around. Actor buddy George Clooney set the example with his Casamigos tequila, which blew up to become the hottest-selling top-shelf tequila in the U.S. and got snatched up by Diageo for a cool $1 billion in 2017. Depp is still the main guy for Sauvage, a men's cologne by Dior. Last January, Bernard Arnault, the big boss at LVMH, the company that owns Dior, said Depp was still pulling in big sales numbers, which is why they decided to keep him on board until 2022, even with all the drama. You've likely caught the ads. They're doing great, Arno said. During his 2018 lawsuit against The Sun newspaper, a doctor said Depp had struggles with drugs and booze. Depp called it self-medication. He was clear, though. 
I'm not some crazy guy who has to be high or wasted all the time, he argued, so he doesn't own a house in London, but rather a mansion in a small village near London, in Somerset. It seems like Johnny made quite an unexpected comment to a local magazine. What did he say? It sounds like the article is suggesting that Johnny Depp has found something significant or fulfilling in his $16 million mansion in the UK. What could it be referring to? Perhaps it's a sense of peace or contentment. His ex-wife Amber Heard bounced to Spain after all the drama of their big lawsuit, but the Depp from Fantastic Beasts decided to chill out in Somerset, UK. This Hollywood guy, who's 60 years old, snagged a sweet 12-bedroom crib on an 850-acre property. It's got a cool walled garden and even its own dairy farm. Talking to Somerset Life magazine about why he picked this 19th century spot in March 2024, Johnny said, I'm all about places with personality. He added how he digs being able to live his life without everyone nearby gawking at him all the time. Brits are chill. They'll say hi like you're just another neighbor. Nothing too over the top. I enjoy checking out new spots, taking in the sights and chatting with folks, but I'm not as outgoing as folks might think, he said. To be honest, I'm pretty shy, Johnny went on. That's what's cool about Britain, especially Somerset. I can just be myself, nice and easy. I can pop into shops without getting swarmed by folks wanting selfies. It's not too bad, but sometimes it's just too much. Because Johnny values his privacy, we don't know much about his Somerset pad besides its size and his thoughts on living there. His chat with Somerset Life didn't include any pics of the inside, and he hasn't spilled any beans about the place or its grounds on social media yet. Johnny keeps his Somerset spot under wraps, but we've got the scoop on his other digs in his fancy real estate collection. Over the years, he's owned several properties worldwide, dropping around $100 million to own them and shelling out thousands more each year for upkeep. In LA, he's got five neighboring cribs in the Hollywood Hills worth $19 million total, turned into his own private hangout. Back in the day, Johnny snagged a $950,000 horse farm in his home turf of Kentucky in 95, then flipped it for $1 million after about five years. But he had a change of tune and scooped it back up for $2 million in 2005, giving it as a present to his mom, who lived there until she passed in 2016. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us. We promise even better content. See you soon.